comes were handed evictions to say we had to leave our properties. No council offered us accommodation in Manchester, Hastings and Birmingham away from our support network and family. So we've been demanding social housing, not social cleansing. We have a weekly street store. We're on the streets trying to raise awareness and get people mobilised and together to fight for decent housing for. Focus B15, New Era, they've taken the campaigns to a new level. They basically said that direct action is a way forward to make sure that we can stay in the homes. So, and to get our homes which we need to live. We've been going to eviction resistance too, which is what happens in Spain. When the bailiffs are dragging people out, get as many people outside their property and don't let the bailiffs in. And it has been really effective because these people are having, we're forcing the council to rehouse them, otherwise they will be shipped off out of London. It's part of the gentrification of London. In my particular situation, the same thing happens, which is uh, they evicted us violently from our house and telling to go to council. And then when you go to the council to seek a homeless application and make a homeless application, they go and send you to out of London. They will tell you, here is the address, you go out of London. So this is our fight for. We need to live in London because we've been living here for years and years. We've been working here, we've been contributing here. So this is our right and we need to stay here. We're resisting revenge evictions where people get thrown out for complaining about poor conditions. We've had a few successful uh, resistances of evictions where we've been able to negotiate with landlords. A lot of the time it's just about making the landlord understand that they can't just evict a person and hope that that person goes on, goes on quietly, but that people do have rights. There was an eviction on uh, a couple of weeks ago um, of a, a, a cleaner who worked for Newham Council. She was offered a place two hours outside of uh, outside of Newham and this is what the council thought was fit for her to come in and be a cleaner. She's got two children. She had to spend a night in the police station and contacted the campaign and the campaign made sure that they collectively stood together and fought for her to get a place in Newham which is now, now where she lives. <laughs> Kensington, Gibbs Green, and I live there. So there's uh, 760 homes that are likely to be demolished uh, in this regeneration programme they have covering our Earls Court and our area. We're fighting to save the exhibition centre, 22 acres of social housing, and the Lily Bridge Depot that employs over 500 people. So it's jobs, trade, culture, social housing, homes. This campaign has been going on now for five years. Uh, we first heard about it, a whisper that we might be having our homes subject to demolition about seven years ago. And so that we're still there is quite a triumph, don't you think? My concern is that there's a lot of young families, likewise there's a lot of old people. And so how are you going to rehouse them simultaneously? You know, there's no provision for the elderly on the new plans and there's nothing to look after the, for them after they put so much into the community. Splitting up and splattering a community like that is just not on. We want to stick together. The main thing is to get on the streets and talk to your neighbours, talk to people in your local community because people in your communities are the people that are affected and if we all stand together we can get somewhere. Every borough in London has a has a private rented group, has a renters group, so just look up online. There's loads of people out there willing to support you. What's happening in Spain, what's happening in Greece in particular um, over the last week actually shows what happens when people are, when people's backs are pushed against the wall, that people will fight back. We occupied four homes on Carpenter's estate, an estate with 450 empty council homes. They've been empty for eight years and in perfectly good condition. We forced new council to open 40 of the homes on the estate. So it just shows resisting can and definitely get pictures from resistance. Council homes on council rent! Stop building for the 1%! Council homes on council rent! Stop building for the 1%! We 
in. The wholesale privatisation of council homes has been stopped in many places, including in my borough, Southwark. The new era tenants in Hoxton have stopped an investment company tripling their rents and evicting them. We were quite happily living on New Era Estate, generations on there, and along comes this big American corporation who thought that we was just gonna they was gonna put our rents up three times to what they were. And because none of us could afford it, they thought we was going to say, oh, that's OK then, and all move out. But where was we going to? They asked me if I wanted to move to Clacton. Who do I, Clacton? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I thought, who do I know there? Look, I'm a pensioner, we're all pensioners. They can't just pick us up and drop us somewhere where we don't know anybody. We'd die. I, I think... We're entitled to be in our own community. We got together, we, uh, we stayed together actually, that was the best thing, you must stay together. And we got them out. We just fought, we campaigned, we marched, and they gave in Westbrook. Everybody well, actually, said they, yeah, everybody everybody said you won't get anywhere. get anywhere. You won't get anywhere with them. But A big, together, yeah, big did. American corporation. We marched on their offices in Barclay Square. And their name's Westbrook, but we had all banners made called West Crook. And I don't suppose that went, and they couldn't get away from us quick enough. So they've sold it now to um, Dolphin Housing, a charity. And hopefully, we haven't met them yet, but hopefully we're going to have affordable rents. We're still campaigning now because we still don't know really where we are. Details. We're still, yeah, we're still waiting for details, but we're still campaigning for everybody else because it's happening all over London. You've only got to look around at all the new buildings around here. Who's going to go in there? It won't be any of us with our accents, our London accents. <laughs> Thank you. 